Welcome back trainers. So in this video, I'm going to be bringing you the Pokemon Go news that you want to know. Make sure you hit that like button, share it with your friends so you can keep them up to date, and I will continue to bring you the news that you want to hear. So we do have the Safari Zone kicking off in Montreal, Canada, and with it is going to be Shiny Yanma. And not just for that specific event, but worldwide, people are reporting catching Shiny Yanma. We're going to go over that more here in just a moment, as well as a possible Stardust event happening October 3rd until the 10th. This was leaked. Don't know if it was intentional to create some sort of hype or if it was leaked and now they're going to cancel it, but we will be going over that towards the end of the video as well. Now for the Mewtwo Raid Hour Makeup Day, this is all going to be going down October 8th at 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. your local time. Unfortunately, they're not giving us any sort of raid passes. They're not extending it to three hours or you know longer or whatever. It's simply just going to be that one hour period alongside the next raid boss, which is to be announced. So we'll be going over that. Unfortunately, I would have loved to see a three hour period, but I'm not going to get greedy over here. You know, they're just making up for the messed up day that they did have. So, yes, uh, this is not going to actually be happening when Mewtwo is going to be appearing in the raids. It's going to be gone and it is going to actually come back for that hour period. So make sure you definitely take advantage of this on October 8th at 6 p.m. to 7 p.m your local time so you can possibly get yourself a size strike shiny Mewtwo. Now, here are some images of the Yanma shiny in the wild here. Pretty fantastic. The spawns are increased slightly. Uh, the shiny rates, not so much, uh, possibly, but I don't think so. I think it's still gonna be full odds. And then we have the shiny Yanmega here. That is a custom image. That's why it probably looks a little bit grainy. So, but at least you have a clear image on what the shiny Yanmega is gonna look like. So we're going to be going over its stats so you can see how good it actually is if you want to power up a shiny one that you get or just another Yanma that you possibly find that's a good 100% or something. Uh, as far as do you want a bunch of them? Well, personally for me, I have probably around eight Yanmegas already, so I kind of need to tone it down. And unfortunately, this event is not going to help me out whatsoever because now I'm just going to simply make a whole bunch more. Well probably not just the shinies so i'm going to get out there and grind because as you may know if you've been watching me for a long time now yon mega is one of my favorite types of pokemon not just because it's bug but it looks amazing so moving on to the stats here yon mega is going to be a bug and flying type now the special thing about yon mega is okay pincer is better caesar is just as good right but the thing about yon mega is it's going to be a bug and flying type therefore it's going to be doubled up resisting fighting type Pokemon. So that is going to be pretty good as well as ground type. So take note of that. And it can be a pure flying type attacker, which can serve you well. The Omega is going to be bug and flying max CP 2,946 attack 231 defense 156 and stamina 200. So the stats are not horrible. It's going to be weak to electric fire, flying ice, and extremely weak to rock because well flying and bug are going to be weak to rock so that is going to be the downside to it resisting ground quite a bit as well as fighting and then grass too because well bug resists grass and flying so yon mega has great resistances that is what it has going for it as well as resisting bug itself because of that part flying type the moves that it does have are going to be bug bite and wing attack the charge moves are going to be Bug Buzz, Aerial Ace, and Ancient Power. So, Yon Mega is amazing as we see here with those resistances. And it can be a pure Bug type attacker with great moves, as well as a pure Flying type attacker with decent moves. Aerial Ace is not going to be the best Flying type move around, but it's still going to be able to do a good amount of damage. Ancient Power does have that possibility to raise your stats in PvP, not PvE. And it has a bit of coverage there. So uh, this Pokemon is pretty good. And not to mention the shiny variants does look fantastic. So make sure you get out there and grind as much as you can. So you can possibly find yourself one of these. All right. Now taking a look at a Shiftry raid. Shiftry is going to be dark and grass. And both of those types are going to be weak to bug. Therefore four times weak. And we're going to take a look at this here. So we have Pinsir pulling up at the top. This is going to be in neutral weather. So nothing, right? Pinsir with Bug Bite and X Scissor is going to be able to win in 209 seconds. It's going to take eight of those. And then we have Yon Mega with Bug Bite and Bug Buzz. Now, personally, I think Bug Buzz is going to be a better charge move. It's just Pinsir has a slightly higher attack. And then if we look at the time to win, that's going to be 110 seconds. So one second slower than Pinsir, but it is only going to take seven Yon Megas. Then we have Caesar with Fury Cutter and X Scissor. Time to win 213 seconds, and it is going to take seven of those. And then we have Durant. 
now. Oh my gosh, I want Durant so bad. You guys, this is literally something I used in my uh, team in the main series games. I love Durant, Steel, and Bug type Pokemon. Bug Bite and X Scissor looking great. It is going to win in 229 seconds, so significantly slower than the rest. That it is going to take eight of those. Then we have Scyther and then Moltres here. So, Yon Mega, as you can see, is going to be doing decently well, so it can perform fantastic as a pure bug type attacker. Now, taking a look at the same raid, but this time in rainy weather, therefore the bugs are going to get a boost. Time to win for the Pinter is going to be 173 seconds, and for the Yon Mega, 174. So, still one second behind, of course, pretty much the same. And then Pinter, everything's going to be slightly faster, right? And take maybe less. And then the Durant yet again. And then you have Venomoth pulling up. So Yon Mega, as far as a PvE Pokemon, is going to be great. As far as PvP, not so much. It's a bit frail. Um, I think I do have one in the Great League. I might have powered it up all the way. But with that said, let's go ahead and actually just take a look at my Yon Megas. And then we're going to talk about that Stardust event that was leaked. So pretty exciting stuff. More Stardust. Always welcome. All right, so we will be talking about that Stardust event right after this. So let's go ahead and look at my Yon Mega collection as well as my Yanvas here. So yeah, I only I have seven of them, and I do believe I evolved a bunch of them because there were tasks, and I just chose to evolve the Yanvas into Yon Mega because, well, I just simply like them. So I have quite a few, an army here, and uh, secondary moves purchased on uh, several of them as well. Uh, because, like I said, it's one of my favorite Pokemon here, and I can simply TM the quick move to make it either a Bug-type attacker or a Flying-type attacker, simple as that. So, do not have a 100 quite yet, unfortunately. Close, a few of them, decently close, but not quite there. Uh, do you want to make a bunch of these? I mean, you could just go with Pincers or possibly Caesars, but as you've seen with the numbers there, Yanma, or Yanmega at least, is going to be the second best Bug-type attacker because Bug Buzz is just that good. So good luck out there, guys, trying to catch your shiny Yanmas, and uh, hopefully you can even get yourself a Unova Stone in your breakthrough. Not that you need a Unova Stone to evolve them. You're going to need the Sinnoh Stone, so hopefully you can get your Sinnoh Stones as well if you haven't done so. And moving on to the Stardust leak here. So I don't know if this was leaked by an, empo like a, an employee, or, or, I mean, it looks like it. I don't think there's any other way somebody snuck into Niantic Labs, took a picture of their computers as to when events are going down, and leaked it. Uh, so whoever did do this inside job here, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Uh, it could be in big trouble or it could be intentional just to create buzz and hype and get everybody ready for this possible event. And if you're thinking, well, why not just tweet it out on their main Pokemon Go account? They know that people are simply going to share this around anyways, and they're eventually going to announce it, creating more buzz before the official announcement, just because it, it, it's a thing that happens. I'm not saying that that's what necessarily is going down here, but all I know is that we're probably, maybe, going to get a Stardust event starting October 3rd until 10th, which is amazing, seeing that we do have new generation of Pokemon coming in, people need more Stardust to power newer things up, which would make more sense. Niantic tends to give us Stardust when we get a, an abundance of new Pokemon here, including that last Ultra bonus, well at least the second part. So there you have it for the Stardust event, get hyped for this, I'm pretty excited. October, really good month for Pokemon, especially Halloween. All right, and taking a look at the new Ditto disguises, seeing that Yama was one, but it's a shiny now and now cannot be a Ditto. So we do have Paris, Venonat, Hoot Hoot, Ladyba, Rimmeraid, Wismer, and Gulpin, the current Dittos that could be in disguise. All right, so there is that. Also, we have some more news regarding EX raids. Still, no announcement as to what's going to be the next EX raid boss. I don't know what's going on here, and if it is going to be the speed form deoxys then are you serious that is gonna are you kidding me let's go ahead and take a look because i did get one so now i'm sitting on two so i did restart my app here went back in because usually it doesn't pop up if you're in and out of your app and there it goes right away so this is going down september 8th at 2 p.m for me so we'll see what happens anyways with that said trainers if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and like i said share it with your friends who want to stay up to date on everything pokemon go and we'll see what the next EX Raid boss is. It better not be Speedform Deoxys. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.